hey there, thanks for watching. I want to give you a review on this 1300 series onboard diagnostic scanner or uh, computer reader. It's a Bosch brand. And I want to zoom in right here. You can see it's the OBD1 and OBD2 scan. And OBD1 is all vehicles uh, prior to 1996, back until I, I believe roughly 19. 84 or mid 80s at, at that point. Um, the OBD2 is 1996 all the way to the present vehicle and this scanner does incredible things as I mentioned it's uh, the 1300 series is both onboard diagnostic 1 and 2 and it gives you over 26 million reported fixes and your powertrain, your ABS, airbag, uh, and the OBD-1 cables are for the pre-1996 vehicles, including the GM, Ford, Chrysler, and Toyota. Okay, and as you can see, this is a five-star scanner, so definitely, definitely top of the line. Okay, as you can see, it comes with this little travel package here. Inside are our miscellaneous uh, cables, and these are the cables that are pre 1996 so these are the onboard diagnostic one connection cables and back then what they did was the manufacturers had different or separate connection points for or throughout the engine that would read your powertrain would read your anti-lock brake system uh, information as well as a different point for your airbag coverage in 1996, the government mandated that every single car manufacturer making cars had to have this single OBD USB port and your scanner would be able to read everything from that port. Your powertrain, your analog brakes, your airbag, etc. Okay, so it made it a lot easier for uh, the uh, repair stations to work on vehicles. Again, pre-1996 you had miscellaneous uh, connection points throughout the the engine. You had to search for them. Uh, 1996 and uh, to date you have just this one port. Now when it gets to the time where you're going to do a software update, you're going to log into the online system and as manufacturers release more codes to vehicles that are just in the last you know two years one year three years you're gonna hook this system up to the computer go to the website and it's gonna automatically download the software or updated version and you're gonna get those or you have you're gonna have access to those additional codes so incredible unit and forever up to date if you keep on it all right guys now I'm on the computer I've got a 2002 Dodge Dakota as you can see and I'm going to show you how to hook up the onboard diagnostic scanner to the vehicle and this vehicle for some odd reason uh, I have to manually input information into the scanner it doesn't actually grab or do an auto read so I'll walk you through no, that not. here okay so all right so there's the scanner <clears throat> there's the USB port or connection point and most every card just directly underneath the dash is the connection point or the USB connection port. <clears throat> so once I plug in that scanner to that port, it is going to automatically turn on the scanner as you can see there. Okay, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to run you through, click on vehicle diagnostic, manual, I tried to auto but uh, it didn't grab anything, so manual, a US car, <clears throat> I'm going to scroll down to the 2002, which is the year it was made. And 
and click on truck scroll down to Dodge and Dakota it's a two-wheel drive so 4 by 2 it's a 4.7 liter engine <clears throat> Okay, so now I'm going to click enter and it wants you to turn on the key. And once you do that, I'm going to click that enter button. And now it's communicating with the onboard computer of the truck. Okay, it says the test complete and it's communicate with the airbag etc alright so now ECM codes two codes that it, that it pulled out and P0456 evaporative emission leak monitor small leak detected okay and uh, P0441 incorrect purge flow so Looking at the uh, codes, I have to go out and I have to buy a leak detection pump for this vehicle. It's a very inexpensive part. And one of the features, I click on Code Connect, and it shows me, number one, replace leak detection pump. And uh, frequent reported fixes, once you change that pump, you can look over your hoses, make sure that they are all um, not dry rotted, not cracked and not leaky. A couple other features I want to show you. The keypad, self-explanatory. You've got your back button, your enter, your up and down, left and right, code connect, off, and info. The code connect is the cool button. That is the one that shows you which part needs to be replaced as well as a few different options that it could be. And I want to do a couple other things. I'll kind of walk through the screen here. You got acronyms, you can review data. So, for example, once you review the data, it's going to pull up the recent vehicles that I've actually hooked the scanner up to. And we can do this one. As I showed you a little bit ago, comes up with that code. And I can also show other vehicles as well. You can print data, which is neat. So, um, hooking it up to your computer, you can pull and print all that. Code lookup, system setup, which is neat. Several dif uh, different options. You can change the language. Do a couple uh, display tests. Auto power, keypad test, memory test, program mode. And once you get to the screen several options. You've got uh, what I like to do, diagnostic codes, and this is a really good screen because it gives you the option to read the codes, uh, erase the code, so basically erase the uh, P code or reset the fault. Basically turn off the check engine light and give the system uh, notification that you've changed the part and what it'll do the onboard engine will begin reaching out to all of its engine sensors to make sure that the, the part has been replaced and replaced properly. And freeze the data, locate, acronyms, review, and again you can even print the data that you pulled up on the vehicle. And pretty, pretty neat scanner. And Guys, if this helps, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and if you want to support the channel, awesome. Thanks, guys.